Hi, this is Karen in behalf of Matt Lloyd and Moab, and we are going to call Diamond Consultant Rosanna Tello. She has had so much success with Moab just within the last few months, and I wanted to call her because she's recently made $88,220 just in the last 30 days alone. So let's give her a call and talk to her about her results and see what she's doing to find the success. Hi, is this Rosanna? Yeah, this is she. Who is it? Hi, this is Karen calling in behalf of Nat Lloyd and Moab. How are you? Very good. Rosanna, I wanted to talk to you because you have just had so much success within Moab. You just recently earned your Moab Motors vehicle. You already received your tuition reimbursement back. And now you have made $88,000 just in the last 30 days alone. Yes, I have. That <laughs> is incredible. Yeah, it's a very, very successful uh, month, and uh, it's, it's amazing. I'm blessed, and I give thanks to all the support that I have. And you are fairly new with Moab, are you not? Yes, I am, actually. I I did join Moab last year, but I didn't do anything. I actually wanted to not continue with Moab at all. Um, so I was like, I'm not going to do this. So <laughs> I just, I was like, this is not for me. I love I love being in nature, not in front of a computer. So I, then I just, I believe in science and stuff like that. So I gave Moab another try and then I attended a supercharge in October last year. I met uh, Steven, my, uh, my, my sponsor, then I met Matt Loy there. And then in January of this year, I started working with uh, my mentor and uh, we both just hit it off and we worked really hard, like really hard. And uh, we just conquered Moab. <laughs> Your mentor, was that someone through Moab or did you get an outside mentorship? Oh, I got, a, I, I got my ancestors to mentor me. I'm just kidding. No, I, I got a... <laughs> <laughs> I did, though. They're, they're back there. I do believe in them. But, right. <laughs> um, it was actually Stephen Bransfield was my mentor. I mean, I didn't know that kid at the beginning, and I was like, I'm like, who are you? Go away. And right. he's, like, he's like, I'm going to make you money. I was like, Okay. <laughs> But um, I was blessed to have him as my partner in the business, so I'm very thankful for that. And now you're happy to see that you that that not giving up on Mo was the right thing to do. Yes, um, <laughs> not on oh, not giving up. It wasn't really it was it's through Mo, but it wasn't really like giving up on Mo. It was not giving up on my reason to do Mo. Okay. Uh, so there's we always talk about our why and how powerful it is, right? Right. I mean, people, people, like, they say that people don't, like, people get inspired by what you're doing, like, so it was through Moab that I'm able now to kind of about to leave my job that I work, like, over 80 hours at times, it's insane, so I'm a, I have a very successful career, don't get me wrong, and I make pretty good money for what I do, but the time is very limited. So I was looking for something that I could get back into my roots, into my culture, into nature. And that's I'm from Peru. So I want to go back over there and explore that town because I grew up in New York and I only know New York. So that's main, one of the main reasons why I decided to do Mo because then I could do it online. So and I was like, that would get me to my dream. So I did not quit on myself and I did not. I gave Mo another a second chance. And that was by far one of the best things that I have done because it not only inspired me to keep working for my dream, and actually my brothers, my, they're actually part of my business now. At the beginning, they were very skeptical, and they were like, oh, you go on your own. This is for you because you do things like this, you know? And then now they're part of my business, and they're like, they're like my, they're my expectators. So just to let them know that anything that you set your mind into, you can do it. Just push hard, push hard, you know? So... And yeah. Did you upgrade to Diamond right away? No, I. Well, it's a very crazy story, right? So when I first uh, went to the Home Business Summit, I was like, I'm a Diamond. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to be a Diamond, no less. So I decided to be a Diamond. But then my brother, uh, he was a bit skeptical, and then he was supposed to be my partner, my younger brother. But then he backed out. So I got, I got so nervous. I was like, oh, he doesn't want to do it. So I don't think I could do it by myself. So I was freaking out. And then I, when I actually downgraded to silver. And then when I met Steven, I upgraded to platinum. 
And then uh, my first sale, when I started working, I literally got it in January. But, I mean, I worked really hard, and I got my first commission was of $11,000. And I met Russell there, Russell Whitney, and he said to me, there's a matter of time that you are going to pass up diamonds. You know that, right? And I was like, oh, my God. I mean, I love Steven, but not that much. <laughs> so I was like, oh, buddy, you ain't getting my money. So I'm working really hard. So And then I was like, well, then I upgrade. So in the, I went to Jamaica Titanium Mastermind, and that's when I upgraded to Diamond. And actually, it was the best decision ever because then I started getting diamonds and diamonds and diamonds. And I was like, holy moly, you know? So it's good. <laughs> and you... How has your mindset played a role? Do, do you have any marketing experience before? Like, how has this evolved no. for you? Okay, you want to hear this? I'm going to tell you. You can edit whatever you want. But so <laughs> what happened is when I first started, I inside of me, I knew that this was going to work. I just knew it was going to work. Everything was pointing out that this is going to work, but you're going to have to work hard. So I was trained in a medical field. I'm a, um, I'm a supervisor in radiology in, uh, in the hospital one of the top hospitals in New York, I, all I know about medicine. I don't really know much about the internet. So for Facebook, you place uh, your posting, you check your friends, and that's it. And then when I started working with my mentor, and I was like, and he was like, okay, we're going to do this. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't understand. So I was very frustrating at the beginning because I am a, almost to a perfectionist and I kind of a little bit of a control freak. So I kept comparing myself to him. He's like three, five, I don't know, five, I don't know, three years ahead of me when it comes to this business. And I kept seeing, why am I not getting this? Why is that not happening? And literally, I, every other day, I fire my mentor. I fire him. I was like, I don't want to work with you anymore. I'm like, I'm done with this. So every other day, but then I will go back. I will wipe my tears, and then I'll be like, you know what? What are you doing this for? Are you doing this to please anybody? No, you're doing it because you want to go live in Peru. I was like, yes, I do. So, and I went back, and literally, I had to retrain my brain to love mobile, to love what I was doing. And then I had to connect myself to my why and, and connect myself to the people there that are on the other side. Like, you know, we market online, yes, but that person on the other side is a human being. It's, it's just like us, hoping that someone will give them, a, you know, a kind of a suggestion, an idea that they can get out of their 9-to-5 job, they can get out of their struggle, so it's like you're not just talking to a computer. You're not just posting for just anybody. You're posting for a heart, just beating heart. You know what I mean? So you have to connect to that. If you don't connect to that, it's not going to be easy because then you're just going to be focused on the money. See, it's not about the money. It's about the passion and the inspiration that you give to others. And then money is just a bonus. Money, money will rain as much as you connect to the human beings. Money will not come. You will struggle so much. In this business, if you don't connect to your purpose of why you're doing this, like, you know, it's like the companies, they focus on why they're doing this. Apple is a perfect example. Like, you know, they don't compete against nobody, just continue to keep the momentum going. And that's my mentality. Even though at times of like some campaigns, they don't go through as well as I hope to. But I know if I keep my momentum, if I keep my consistency, I know that the next campaign, it will probably blow out like the other ones that I just did. So... It's just also all about momentum and it's all about believing and believing in your purpose because we are all act out of emotion. So we're all humans and we all have to connect to each other and help each other. Like uh, Albert Einstein said, we are here to serve each other. If we're not here for that, then why are we here at all? You know, so we have to, this is a whole company that supports each other. Like they will have the mob community, but also as a human being, we have everybody because we have the right to live the life we deserve. People think like, you know, they ask me all the time. They're like, so how'd you do it? How, how did you become an overnight success? And even to the biggest successes, and it wasn't. And they say, I want to be just like you. And I, that, that sometimes, like, I always say, like, uh, you know, I am, it's great that you're looking up to me, but you are yourself. I had my own struggle with this business and within my life. So you yourself have to figure out how to do this business. You yourself have to connect to this and do it constantly because you will find your own struggles. Now, the key to success here in this business and in any other business is, con is having a strong mindset. Your mind is your foundation to your business and to your life. Because if your mind could be, like at one point in my life, my mind was my biggest enemy. Like I always say, my mind got me to the hospital. But now my mind is actually the one that cheers for me, that wipes my tears and says, Rosanna, you keep going. Like, so that's what I am. So my, your mind, if the first thing that I could advise any newbie is, first of all, focus on your purpose while you're doing this business. Don't focus on, I want to get rich. That's a very um, vain thing. Yes, we're all going to get rich. 
just focus on your purpose and then after that create a, a strong powerful like foundation which is your mindset what do i do tips i say like go online go on youtube and listen to a lot of tech talks listen to uh, motivation speaking read books and listen to audiobooks Feed your mind constantly because that will support your business because when the time that it comes to struggle that you're not selling anything, your mind will say, you know what, that's okay. The next one, you're going to you're gonna get it. You're going to get it even bigger than whatever happened, you know? So it's just focus on your mindset, then build the skills of mold on top of it, and then you will get where you want to go. I remember when I first sitting in the first mass supercharge in Vegas, and honestly, I was looking at everybody getting their, their checks, and I looked at my back office. My back office says zero. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm not getting a check. So, and then I said to myself in my mind, I said, I said, I promise the next event that I'm going to be here, I'm going to show everybody that anybody could do this business. I, I mean, nobody knows me here, but for sure the next time that I'm in one of these events, I'm going to get a check of a hundred thousand dollars. And I said it just like bluntly, right? In my mind. So the next event that I uh, attended for another uh, supercharge, I actually got a check for a hundred and ninety thousand, nineteen thousand dollars. So just like how fast did that go? It's a blink of an eye. You have to focus and you have to really, really want it. Wonderful. Thank you so much for letting us talk to you and for sharing your inspiring story with us. And I look forward to talking to you again with more commissions. I will. Thank you. Have a wonderful day too. Thank you for too. calling. Okay. Bye bye.